Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you all having a great day. I'm um, actually up here in Harrisburg working on a house built in the 1860s. It seems like old houses find me to live on. And I look forward to in the morning getting started on doing some stuff uh, for the next couple of days. Ugh. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. It's been a long day. Um, and, of course, I did the Dan Cilio. Not Cilio. silly O. Because he's silly, oh, uh, show with Philly 500. And I realized that I'm the comic relief guy. I'm the punching bag. I'm the fresh meat for the masses of Eagle fans, you know. And it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to bide my time. Um, I did kind of put a little bit of a challenge out there um, for Philly 500 and Dan Leo. Um, and I'm hoping that we can all be a part of this because what I want to do is I want to do a Joe Blue Sports um, game tailgate and game parties and live streaming like the night before for the November 10th game against the Philadelphia Eagles. And I'd like for Dan Salio and Philly 500 to be part of it. Although it seems like Philly 500 has this fear of going to Dallas because uh, Kennedy was shot. In Dallas. So he's like, I don't know if I can go there. No, I can't go there. Um, to me, um, I know what it really is. It sounds like he's chicken. Chicken. Anyway. Anyway. I will definitely keep pressing Philly 500 on that game and I will continue to call him out um, if he doesn't show up or doesn't agree to show up. That's the way we going to do it. So before I did that live stream, I was talking to um, a really good friend of mine um, who wants me to send a message to the Stephen A. Smiths. I don't know if Stephen A. Smith would get it, but the Stephen A. Smiths of the world and the haters out there. Um, it doesn't matter what Dak Prescott, what he does or what he says. People are always going to hate him. It, it's just it's just common knowledge. It's just the way it goes. So when Dak said, I don't play the game for the money, people took that as, well, screw you. You shouldn't be playing for money. Work for free. And this is a response from Uncle Phil, Dak Prescott's uncle, who helped raise him with his sister, um, who's no longer here. And he said, I want you to pass this message on. And I thought it would be better to pass it on in his own words. So I'm going to take a little bit of the conversation that I had with him. Because I can't explain it as well as he did. But but listen to this. Okay? Just listen. Tell everybody that just because that said he doesn't play for money uh -huh. doesn't mean he doesn't make a living <laughs> playing fucking football right why people are so fucking narrow minded and stupid dude <laughs> like he was raised by teachers bro his co three cousins three aunts his grandmother his uncle his aunt and all his cousins Mm -hmm. We're teachers. We're all fucking teachers. Do you think we do it for the money? <laughs> You're right about that. There ain't no Are money in teaching. Retarded? Oh, man. We barely pay our fucking bills. It just so happens that what he loves to fucking do and what means the most to him is football that you make a lot of money. There you Dude, go. He really meant that he doesn't like the money. He doesn't like what it brings to him. Mm -hmm. People begging all the time. The the you know, like that's one of the things that, like with me, dude, I don't care. So I'm I'm gonna leave it right there. But but you, you get the gist of that. And and to his point, there's when you think about being a school teacher, you're going to school for eight years, 
you're gonna end up paying school debt and you ain't getting money you ain't paying shit you don't do it because of the money you do it because you enjoy doing it and there's a lot of things that you know you're just good at that you get paid for doing it's not like i didn't decide i'm gonna play football because i want to make it for, for just to make every nickel that we can um and so on i enjoy playing it and for, hey i'm lucky enough that i get paid to do it um and that's the point being there. And I understand exactly what he means because, you know, you think about the situation of um, the case that he was, the, the allegations that were made against him, you know, just a few months ago that it's still going to court where he's suing her for $100 million for defamation. Um, you think about if he didn't have the money, would she be trying to sue for that money? Right? Would she be trying to sue for that money? People look at you differently when you have money or they think you have money. They think that, you know, you you got all that, then you should be giving me some. No, I earned this stuff. What are you talking about? And so I understand exactly what he means. I, I don't do this just because of money. If money comes with it, that's great. But I'd be playing football because I love playing football. And there's a lot of guys out there that are playing football now that aren't making money on it, not making a great living at it. And they do it because they enjoy it and they're good at it. But it doesn't matter what you say or what you do. Um, people are always going to down, you know, downplay you. And, you know, it's funny because there's perception and then there's reality. You know, people will say, you know, let me give you an example here. People act like Jalen Hurts is the greatest quarterback when it comes to playoffs. You know what's funny to me? Here's what's funny. Jalen Hurts in the playoffs, his rookie year, I'm sorry, his first year starting, had one game, had one TD, two interceptions, 258 yards, Six yard per pass average, 258 yards. The Super Bowl year, you would think that this was Joe Montana. In the three games he played, let me think about this for a second. The three games he played, passing wise, he was 66.7% average, 579 yards total in three games, 6.7 yard average. Three TDs. Now, he didn't have any interceptions, but he averaged one TD pass a game and a 96 rating. Against Tampa Bay, one TD, 7.1 yards, 250 yards. Do you look at this and say, that, my friends, is outstanding playoff football? You know, the five TDs that he got right there in his four games that he's played? I'm sorry. Five games. Five games. Dak Prescott got that many touchdown passes just against Tampa Bay. So... Was it Jalen Hurts the reason why they went to the Super Bowl? Or was it the team? Sorry. I ain't seeing anything special right there, bro. Nothing. But then again, what do I know? I'm a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll. And I appreciate you guys, as always. Peace out.